All right, guys. This is Banishers of New Eden. Um, I literally kind of I don't really know much about this game at all. I saw a random like ad for it, and it was like a gameplay trailer, and it really sold me to be honest and I was like yo this looks sick ooh graphics look sick too we accept okay I'm excited to see Let's just do normal, because I really don't know how this game is. I don't know how hard the combat will be. Sometimes normal is. Hard enough. Sorry for the yawning, guys. A wee bit tired. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Damn, the graphics are good, though. At least it looks good. I dreamed of clouds. Great long fluffy bastards. Low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. I like her voice. Already getting more. Affection that a I do in real life, haha. Uh -huh. And a good day to you too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something is bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. Awesome. 
New Eden, June 7th, 1695. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd want to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. I have no idea what to expect either. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Now we're playing as Anita first. I think I weary of long boring sea voyages to grim faraway lands. Yeah, I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. All right. Ooh, we got a little loud cabin. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Looks like we get supplies for stuff. For some stuff. Looks steady enough. Here we go. going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Hmm. I can break my way through here. What here? Hmm. Fuck are you talking about, bruv? Oh. Looks like there's going to be loot in this game, so that's cool. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of side missions, too, so I don't really know how I want to do this. Uh... Okay. Too slow. Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same. I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe. But are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? This far as the Eden town has gone on long enough. You tried, you tried all you could to make it work to build something here, but if the words you send me are true by then true then by t by god take your wife and your precious child pack your belongings and leave that ungodly place come to providence and live with us there's far more here and simone and i would gladly take you until you find a place of your own please i'm begging you come to us we are family and the children will be safer here john james providence 8th september 
19 or 1694 it's a year ago so new eden is not a good place here guys i really like this already i'm not gonna lie that that's just base combat and then like we get like cool abilities and shit i i, I know that some leather, so there's probably crafting. Upgrade. Ooh, I'm liking this, bro. It's like teetering. Teetering lines of like creepy and also like RPG ish, which I love. These types of games. And. It's easy as falling off a box. And like creepy games, like scary games. Yeah. How long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't board well. Mm, yeah, probably not. Do not belong here. <laughs> that was sick. One thing I will I do like about this is there's no stamina bar, so I can kinda of just like I can kinda of just spam it. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date I cannot say. I know it it is the month of June in the year nineteen what the hell's wrong with me? Sixteen ninety five. Okay. I thought it would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again in the golden wheat fields would bring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you, run. These people left New Eden town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Yeah, what is going on here? Breaking the stuff just in case there's yeah, see? <laughs> I'm a loot hole. That's just not good, man. Something feels sinister. Because there's a lot of mystery in this land, a lot of stuff to discover. It's gonna be a lot. I'll probably Oh shit. <laughs> you call this a fight? You are nothing. You are weak. Sorry, if you saw that pause, I'm just checking my battery power. Badly for the case. Situation's worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. But Charles is dead, yeah? Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good sign. By the time selectmen sitting on their arses. Isn't that what selectmen do? I like this. This is yeah. This is gives me like a good eerie vibe to it as well. So far, the mood is unsettling, and I like it. Let's see here. Boston, Fort Jericho, the Harz Hamlet. Yo. Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. This town is less and less welcoming by the second. New Eden town. Okay. Ugh. Welcoming committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles.
It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you lecture on the sanctity of marriage? Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. I, I remember you telling her. You have reached the location of your objective. This is like a person. Good day, sir. You'll be Haskell's banishers, I take it. Antea Duarte. This is Red McRaith. Hugh Bachelor. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse for your comfort. It has fallen out of use. Will that be all? We're expected at the tavern. Where might we find it? The King's Arm. You can't miss it for the lamps are lit. The school is now a bunkhouse, and the meeting house cold and dark. But the tavern shines yet. I like the music. Well then, let us be thankful for small mercies. Where are the children? Several died of fever. We could see disaster coming. We thought we'd have to bury them all. We sent the children to safety. We sent them away. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. No, it is not. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor, and you may wish us luck. Good luck, then, to the both of you. Okay, let's go up to the inn. There's the inn. Oh god, it's intense. I thought Charles was dead. Charlie, <laughs> we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. And you're ugly. Don't my talk to my is girl about like that. This is my partner, Red McRaith. Good day to you. Serving Sirs, woman. Madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. You're also ugly. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. Has the same fucking We're hairline as me, though. Unfortunate. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <clears throat> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. 
Probably well, to go Governor, to shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? I could guess, to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Let's just ask Why is questions. town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Okay, will they return? Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. Okay, this is interesting, man. I wonder what's going on. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that. Like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see. To a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land. And those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same. Because we must. Aye. Because we must. Let's see what, what this curse is about. What can you tell about. me about the curse? Ah. I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increments. Seems like it's been First, more than a year. There was pestilence. And disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death, death remains. remains. But in all honesty, 
I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. Hmm. What do you think caused the curse? I like the way In she my looks. humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Okay. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, old schoolhouse. Right, let's see if there's anything in here that we can grab. Or read. As announced at the last town hall meeting, I hereby close the King's Arms Tavern, leaving the key to the selectman. There shall be no ale sold nor drunk until the curse is lifted and I return. The storerooms are locked, and so are the bedrooms. God bless. Charity. Okay. Oops. Company that gets the direction of this and sort of objective. Follow Those the other marker and meet Esther. Storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. Now let's see if. Okay, what's this? What's this? Curfew, the hours of darkness, stay in your homes. Stay in your homes, no discord, no turmoil. A curfew? But why? Uh, the first resort of every self-respecting oppressor. The cemetery is closed by order of the governor. No, I want to read the middle one. Path of the meeting house is closed by the governor's decree. Who the hell is this? Oh, this is this chick. Let's stop her. Thick skin, right? We're sorry to disturb you. It'll take more than you to disturb me. What do you want? I take it you intend to leave town. Bloody right, I do. New Eden is dying, and anyone who stays is dead or deranged. Will you go alone? I'll take my sister and anyone else who wishes. You may come too if you wish. You look like you can handle yourself. There's no hope for New Eden then? Not till the weather changes and it don't look like changing. Fair enough. So, the curse. What do you think is going on? We need more information, I guys. I think nothing much about it. I think folk sickened and the crops failed. I think folk went mad, and I know we found the Reverend dead. What of the governor? Anything I should know? That useless clackwagger. With Davenport dead, godly folk look to be led. Fairfax Askell couldn't be happier. I pity he'll get them all killed. Hmm. What of the captain? Now there's a man of worth. Without Saul Pennington, there'd be no town left at all. These last months have been hard on him. I hope his metal holds. If I had my way, he'd be coming with us. I don't give a rat's knacks for loyalty. But the captain does. Hmm. 
Well then, thank you for your help. Aye. We should go to Esther. I think the governor said their house stood above the docks. The music is intense. Red Loki looks like a Scottish Arthur Morgan. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends, but that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions, but I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find thick skin New Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said that time and God have not yet healed. How were things, mm. you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they looked to someone else now. But I can't imagine it's the same. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here... I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. Peace. Will, it's all right. May I be of any help? Mm, stay put. We'll find the way. You unlock the first hint. It contains important information about the person it is linked to. Refer to these hints 
any given moment through your haunted cases menu. Oh, look at this. Nice. Last and obtained after seeing her husband's ghost. You want to okay. How long I learned that's for. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the school. Eighteen. The schoolhouse. Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. It's very kind, but with a long day ahead of us. I don't want to bother you. I don't have much. So I just need to find one more Purcell. hint. Could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. I can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. Fair enough, I guess. This is a few years ago. I can give you no better answer. Be it sorcery, the presence of an echo, or something else entirely, we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and take of your observations. Our Brotherhood of St. Paul's stole has so little presence in the new world. Any new information shall be precious indeed. Hmm. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Hmm. So much to inspect, investigate. There's more to learn here. Oh. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Where did she say his office was? Question mark? Question mark? Back... Oh, upstairs most likely. Alright. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back. A ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. <laughs> a precious king from a chess set. Protected by a glass dome. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Remember when he started to wear these? To look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing that shit, bro. <laughs> Alright, so... We're looking for clues here.
None of, none on this side of the water, and few of the others I know that I, that I came to New Eden as minister in order to pursue research into the New World on behalf of the Brotherhood of Saint Paul's Stole. And what strangers have I found? There are ghosts here, yes, old and innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the world, the word aloud, but I suspect there to be witches. And if I find one, I shall very much like to ask her, for her story. Hmm. Maybe this is all the witch is doing. Job. When I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints, then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifest me through visions, so that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than my life she comes to me in dreams charles's notes mention job chapter 7 verses 13 to 15 i'll look for that reference red you dropped something mm hmm what do all these dreams have in common are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming Visions? Foreshadowing? Is someone behind this? Who's the real target and what caused this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot perdure. Perdure? perdure? I don't fucking know what the hell that is. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? So we're still looking for hints here. Jeez. When I first met Charles, he was reading his Bible. And not... Sorry, I didn't realize you just stopped fucking talking. Nightmare and nothing to do with nocturnal. One of the most rarest and most powerful spirit defined by its only purpose to spread its insidious and unforgiving wrath upon any living soul that may reach according to my research. No occultist ever successfully banished a nightmare. But why? Could a nightmare be more than a ghost? I'm afraid so. I remember a disturbing poem I read in London in my younger years about the terrifying abilities of such entity, supposedly able to penetrate the dreams of its targets, to influence their thoughts and perception and make them endure their worst fears, able even to bend the distance or alter time, creating, oh, sorry, tantalizing personalized nightmares, personalized nightmares victim can, can have to escape from. Such a petrifying concept, I pray. God, with all my heart and soul, that this is not what has risen upon us. How would we then escape despair, death, doom? I need more information, but where to find them? Jesus. Sounds like a demon. That's what they're describing. Nightmare. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there. Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. No children are the heritage of the Lord and the fruit. Okay. You just have lavender oil. Sleep went to green to rub between palms in the ears three times a day. If, if restlessness persists, use lemon balm. So we found like a remedy or some sort. My dear sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has become undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial, the shame of it. How I have failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died. 
there to see him buried. Lord have mercy on us and guide our friends. Okay. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther. They never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Hmm. All right. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But... Now Charles is gone, and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him. None respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This... Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. All right. To the cemetery we go, guys. <laughs> 